DIY back to school supply or more appropriate in the Indian context is going to be more like a DIY back to college supplies. Although all of the supplies that I've made, I've made sure is something that is very, very, very achievable for students in India. Because if you are like me and you were born and brought up in India and in an Indian school, your copies probably look like these. These are my copies from probably 9th or 10th standard and they have like my school cover on them. We're not allowed to carry fancy notebooks or anything and we have like these ones which have the school logo and stuff like that so yes and that's why I'm not gonna do any notebook DIY because I want something that is very relatable to the Indian context so I've made stuff which you can carry to your school but if you want you can obviously carry them to your college as well I feel like these DIYs are so cute to just pep up your mood and make you more you know excited to go back to school because honestly there's nothing like a back to school in India we hate going back to school trust me at least I did I've also kept in mind that not everyone wants to spend like a huge amount of money for a DIY supply. A DIY supply essentially means that you're spending a very little amount on it. So each of this DIY is under 100 rupees which is great because everything is very 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 inexpensive. So yes, if you want to know some cute DIY school or college supplies then please keep on watching. Starting off with the first DIY, so I'm going to be taking a pencil, I'm really sorry for the bad focus here, I'm going to be taking some washi tapes. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, I'm just going to stick down washi tapes in vertical way like this until I cover all of the pencil and I'm going to cut off the excess like you see right here. So I'm just repeating that plain little step until I cover all of the sides and once that is done, I'm going to take some clear tape to protect my paper tape from this and I'm going to do the exact same thing just that this time I'm just going to need one roll of you know tape because it just covers everything and then I'm just going to press it down really good like you see me doing here. If you don't have washi tape you can also use metallic tape like this one these are quite easily available but here are all my pencils done now these look really cute guys and these are quite unique as well actually a lot of people have shown this on youtube but it's something that i wanted to show you as well you know mundane thing everyone does them moving on we're going to be making some pencil pouches so i'm going to be taking ziploc bags like these now you get this for like 10 rupees or what and then i'm going to be taking some whiteboard markers or dry erase board markers i'm going to start writing whatever text i want which is you can sew with us on this particular one and then i'm going to take matching glitter with you know the color of the ziploc and then taking pervicol and carefully tracing out that text and I'm going to do this in sections because I don't want the fabricol to dry off. So once I do, I'd say about like one and a half words, I'm going to sprinkle the glitter over this. And once you're done with all of the letters which you have, you just want to take off the excess. And you will have somewhat of the pouch. You have to clear it off later further on as well. But the glue was still a little wet so I did not push it here. But once everything was done, you can just put your pencils in this one and this is how it's going to look like. It looks so cute, like I can't personally wait to go back to college and like take this with me and it's going to be like my little warning sign that you can sit with us or me because I don't have an us right now. <sighs> Alright, so then for the next one, I'm going to take another Ziploc bag, this is red. I'm going to take these printouts which I use for another of my DIY. So I'm going to start off by cutting these out and I'm going to cut all of them out. So I have 6 pizzas and 3 donuts. Once I'm done cutting them, I'm going to just, you know, sort of arrange them however I want them to be. And once I'm happy with how they look like, which is right here, as you see, I'm just going to put some Pepecol on the picture itself. I'm going to stick it inside the pouch. I'm not going to stick it on top of the pouch because it will not protect the photographs. So I'm going to stick it like you see me doing here. I'm going to stick all of the photographs like that inside the pouch. And once that is done, this is what my pouch is going to look like. And the best thing is that I have a matching phone cover, which you see me having holding right here. And once you put in your stationery inside this, again, it's going to look really cute. Next up, we're going to be making a blackboard. So for that, obviously, you're going to be needing a blackboard. I got this for about like 40 rupees and I folded a newspaper according to the size of this. And then I'm going to protect the sides with some tape because we are going to be spray painting next. You can use acrylic paint, you can use whatever you prefer. I got these spray paint bottles for like 100 rupees. 
So yeah, I'm gonna be sticking down the newspaper with the help of this long tape. I'm gonna make it into a double sided tape like this. I'm gonna stick it on the center of the blackboard. Now I wouldn't really recommend you doing this because my spray paint did leak a little. I would recommend like taping the whole damn thing. But anyways, now I'm gonna be taking this gold paint and I'm gonna be spray painting the sides. Just just make this blackboard a little bit more, you know elegant you can say and then i'm just taking off these spray paint and the tape and you see it leaked a little bit inside but it's okay so now i'm gonna give you a mini durkheimian lesson so you can now practice on this blackboard especially for maths you know because i i feel i used to make so many mistakes that no matter of how many notebooks i bought they always were short so yeah you can practice on your new blackboard now and it's gonna save paper as well so that's great for the next DIY, you're gonna be needing some cheap pens. I got these for five rupees and then glitter. And yes, you gotta try it. I'm just gonna be applying five call, but I'm not gonna be applying anywhere near the gap. You wanna stay, uh, keep that area a little protected because then you can't write properly and the gap won't fit properly as well. So I have the cap on and I'm just applying on the area below the cap and then I'm drizzling it with glitter. I have matching color here, but you can use like completely contrasting color as well. Now because my cap had the name of the company written, I wanted to hide it. So I'm just gonna apply some Fevicol on the handle of the cap. I don't know how to say that. And then I'm gonna dip it in glitter to make sure all of that is hidden and my pen looks really cute and i really like how this diy has turned out here i show you another contrast color which is black and i love these pens these look so chic i made one in blue and one in purple as obviously you can see me doing here but yeah next up i'm going to be taking this writing board and this diy is sort of a bummer because i lost major footage but i'm still going to show you how you can do it so i'm going to be taking black spray paint again you can use acrylic if you want and i'm going to spray paint the front part of it first and you just want to let it dry for about i'd say 10 20 minutes or whatever it takes and then i'm going to spray paint the back which is the important part because we're going to be decorating the back so yes once that is done all i did was i wrote goals on it with a pencil and then again i just applied fevicol drizzled some glitter and applied some self-adhesive rhinestones on the corners so yeah that's all I did and once that was done in just a matter of seconds you're gonna see what my board looked like this. So the reason I did not do it on the front side was you don't want anything you know 3D there so that it, it's like a hindrance in what you write. So this is what the board looks like you can carry it for exam and you're like hashtag goals. With that, I finished my DIY back to school or back to college, you know, supply video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you do recreate this, then don't forget to send me, you know, your recreations on any of my social media. I have to say, whenever you guys recreate one of my DIY, it just makes my day. All of my social media are in the bottom bar, so you can send it to me anywhere that you guys prefer. Also, don't forget to comment below and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you guys super soon. Till then, take care. Bye.